Hi, I'm Master Sergeant James Ellis with the Civil Engineering Squadron Fire Protection Flight. Today we're here doing an airport annual burn. One of the requirements for us as firefighters annually, in addition to several others such as hazardous chemicals, response, structural burn, vehicle rescue, and other technical rescue. This current scenario that we're doing today is for a fuel spill on the exterior of the aircraft that's moved into the interior of the aircraft. The firefighters will be operating multiple hose lines, making their way to the inside where they'll be battling a fire with temperatures that can range up to 1,000 degrees. They'll be doing this all wearing fire protection clothing that can protect them. This clothing can weigh up to as much as 75 pounds of additional weight while they're moving inside, climbing ladders, pulling hose lines, and performing rescues of two dummies on the inside of the aircraft. We're currently in the facilities control tower where you can see to my left the uh, control module for operating the aircraft prop. All of these zones are independently able to be controlled to give different scenario based evolutions to the firefighters that are operating currently out on the aircraft. Uh, additional safety items are able to be accomplished, heat temperature monitoring, uh, fuel loads, and, and all that's necessary with the propane prop that's here. So the instructors here at the Airport of Authority are all trained on, on being able to control this equipment. Uh, there's an independent module that's on the inside of the aircraft that allows the uh, interior instructors to remotely control different uh, fires, such as a rollover fire on the aircraft, or a cockpit fire, or fire at the rear or after the aircraft as well. Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Brandon Schmidt with the 171st Air National Guard Fire Department. I'm also a firefighter for the city of McKeesport. Today we just got done doing training burns, an aircraft training burn at Allegheny County's facility. I've been with this unit for about three years after coming off four years of active duty. The reason I serve is because I've always wanted to be a firefighter. In the civilian sector, I've been a, fire a firefighter for over 13 years, and this gives me a way to serve my country and my state.